Nitin. Uh, Mayuresh, good to have you on the show. Uh, and I want to talk to you specifically about one stock and that is uh, Sona Koyo. It's, it's fallen quite a bit today, 6-7% down. Uh, promoters are selling some stake in the market through an offer for sale. Your thoughts, how do you view it on the fundamentals? So it's been a good story, Surabhi, but largely, again, I think the entire auto ancillary universe has to be played uh, according to the niche products uh, and the expected earnings uh, kagat that they will generate at this point of time. Uh, so a large element in what we are probably liking out of the auto ink universe on declines uh, can be a stock called Endurance Technologies. Uh, now, the kind of investments that this company has done and the expectations of top-line growth uh, is quite humongous over the next few years as we see it. Uh, the second element in terms of the automatic leverage being played on their balance sheet will also reflect very, very positively in terms of the company actually being debt free over the next year and a half and the improvement in return ratios, specifically the ROE component. The third element in terms of the entire EV saga and story that gets played out, I think it's also a big beneficiary on that aspect. Uh, so I think endurance uh, should be something that will probably continue to pursue in a staggered way on declines uh, from the auto ancillary pack. Okay, endurance perhaps is a bit a bit. Uh, uh, decline in jet airways, uh, just dial, gen irrigation, jindal steel, JP associates. Uh, a lot of these names right now seeing uh, quite a bit of decline and are uh, ending at or close to the low point. Uh, Mayuresh, good afternoon. So, thoughts on a couple of these, say, let's say jet airways, uh, how would you approach that one? So afternoon, Anu, you know, again, the sensitivity in terms of aviation stocks obviously depends in terms of how the crude price movement is going to be and expected to be. And again, I think the rupee dollar equation because the reported earnings uh, come in dollar terms. So if one really assumes crude to move in a range uh, between 60 to 68 dollars a barrel over the next few months and the rupee not depreciating substantially against the dollar, I think the kind of input costs uh, specifically as far as the ETF prices are concerned are anywhere to the tune of 26 to 29 odd percent. Uh, Couple that up with a lot of the other operating expenses that get played out. I think the CASC, uh, which is the cost per available seat kilometer X fuel, is a very important uh, parameter to track. The second element obviously becomes the available seat kilometers, which has been growing. And again, the passenger load factors, which have been pretty reasonable so far. Uh, so realizations might have taken a knock uh, in terms of competitive pressures, but the CASC X fuel and the optimization thereof is clearly getting reflected in terms of operating cash flows improving. So I think we remain selective on this sector. SpiceJet is something that we continue to like, both in terms of the operation efficiencies that it has probably achieved, and again the expectations that are probably getting laid out in terms of uh, the revenue-driven growth, which will reflect very, very positively in terms of the RASC uh, and the CASC S fuel is probably expected to remain in uh, contained territory. So I think SpiceJet from the aviation space is something we'll continue to prefer on declines. Okay. Uh, Neeraj, finally, uh, one of the hardest hit spaces today obviously has been metals. Whether from the Nifty 50 or beyond, uh, any stock that you would like to pick up in this decline? 